good afternoon uh, uh, welcome to this uh, last session hopefully of this uh, global university industry congress uh, uh, this is a very important session uh, the research partnerships uh, between industry and institutes uh, this is the topic of uh, general interest and uh, interest of the time of today because uh, unless the industry and the academia interact to, to each other uh, we can't make an impact uh, academic people think that uh, they are in their own uh, isolated world doing uh, research for the curiosity and curiosity to research where they can uh, publish good papers and they'll be happy with that on the other hand the uh, industry has several problems uh, they may not be having expertise in the own industry to solve these problems and uh, they don't know where to go to solve the problems therefore uh, in order to make an impact uh, one has to sort of uh, bring these people uh, on the same platform and see how one can help each other so that we have a, a win win situation uh, in this regard uh, uh, no uh, recently uh, dst scrb has taken uh, quite a bit of initiative to start uh, programs uh, where we can uh, bring in industry and the academia together and the reason we are doing that is uh, we are uh, reasonably good in uh, knowledge generation as a country we are uh, contributing about uh, 3.5 percent of the world's population uh, uh, world's publications uh, to the in the world and then sub subjects like uh, chemical sciences uh, Uh, medical sciences and even the engineering sciences uh, we are doing very well and in chemistry we are number 5 in the world in terms of the quality publications in uh, materials and nano materials we are number 3 in the world but now uh, we have a job of uh, converting this knowledge into the wealth if you look at the knowledge technology and the innovation they form the uh, three uh, corners of a triangle and we at the uh, one corner being uh, generate knowledge the next step is to sort of uh, convert this knowledge into the wealth that's where uh, we have to now think with the time has come that is for basically translational research and this translational research cannot be done by one person so there we have to have a hand holding between the expertise of different people an engineer and a scientist can come hand join hands and do that the thing therefore we are looking for the partnerships where academics can interact with the industry and make an impact to the country as a whole so keeping this in mind this is the important area uh, yes uh, the dst scrb has started that initiative from last 3 to 4 years uh, started the new schemes uh, in terms of uh, bringing the two people one from the industry and one from the academy on the same platform and make them talk to each other so that they can sort of uh, help the problems uh, in this direction uh, we have started uh, two new schemes uh, one is already about 3 to 4 year old scheme uh, which is known as the prime minister's doctoral fellowship in this particular uh, fellowship scheme which was started about 4 years back uh, Uh, the student uh, who is uh, registered for a, a phd degree in any academic institute uh, can take up a problem of an industry and a, an industry sponsor uh, will sponsor this particular uh, fellowship therefore the students selected under this particular scheme will be getting uh, two scholarships uh, one from the academic institute and the other from the the sponsoring industry and the catch is there that the selected student here has to sort of work on a industrial problem of the industry which is sponsoring him or her and then here uh, the idea here is that do, by doing this uh, there will be one guide a supervisor from the academic institute and there will be one supervisor from the industry concerned and there is opportunity for the student to visit the industry uh, sometimes if this required and also the academic supervisor can go to the industry and spend some time and the industry supervisor can come to academy and spend some time so this uh, uh, we have started uh, 100 fellowships uh, per year and i'm happy that already there are about 70 projects going on 
and a lot of good industries have come. Uh, and the, of course, the academic institutes involved are mostly are IITs, uh, Manipal, etc., etc. So good institutions have come forward, good industry has come forward. And this has been uh, a successful story that uh, at least 70 projects are currently running and therefore it will uh, take shape into future this thing, have more number of people in this thing. And at least uh, we have succeeded in bringing academic and uh, industry part together on the same platform to talk to each other and sort of spend some time together to understand each other's problem. And eventually it should be a win-win situation for both the academia and the industry. The second new scheme which we are, uh, which been approved by our board and will be starting this academic year is that uh, industry-backed or industry-based research. Uh, if an industry has a problem to be solved, uh, which has a significant academic content, and if there is an academician who would interested in this particular problem, they can come forward together and they will propose a proposal to SERB, DST SERB, where the SERB will be happy to fund it 50% of the uh, project fund and the remaining 50% we expect it from the industry concerned. So that the industry concerned can solve their problems through an academic and therefore they will only uh, invest 50% and the 50% money is coming from the SERB or the DST. Uh, this particular scheme uh, has been uh, has started approved recently and we are going to launch this particular program uh, this academic year so i would uh, urge the industry people sitting here to sort of uh, make use of this particular uh, uh, opportunity given so that again we can bring the industry and the academia together sort of they can solve problems of each other and will win situation so these two new schemes, uh, I think, will sort of uh, initiate this uh, sort of uh, inter interaction between the industry and this thing. And therefore, we are open to any suggestions across this one. And I'm happy that uh, CII is involved in this uh, as an industrial partner for us to help us in identifying industries. Uh, and with this, uh, uh, we, I will stop it here by initial comments. I will request my other panelists to make their initial com uh, comments on the particular subject. And after that, we'll have a discussion from the audience as well as the panel. Thank you.